many of them aren't aware of the planning that's happened. It's all done, you know, almost in secrecy, it feels like. Uh, parents are, are not even aware of, of that there's a birth alert in place. For expecting mothers, heading to the hospital means it's time to meet your baby and bring that bundle of joy home. But that's not always the case for those from Indigenous communities. They face the challenge of being subjected to birth alerts, a practice where social workers or hospital staff flag an expecting parent, often without their knowledge, as being unfit to care for their child. Fine, I'm going. And she left City the News has agreed to keep this social worker's so identity confidential because of fear of retribution. This is going to happen. This is part of what being an Indigenous uh, woman is now. That my baby is going to be taken away. And that's heartbreaking. And that shouldn't be happening. In Quebec, the number of Indigenous children who are placed in foster care is eight times that of non-Indigenous children. It would be something as innocuous as, oh, the parents were swearing at each other uh, in the room. Okay, well, that's not a reason to remove somebody's child. We have some moms that um, are in a position where they, be, they already have their kids in care, and they get pregnant again, and they consider having an abortion because they know this child is going to be taken from them. And it is so devastating that they don't want to go through that pain because they're already trying to do everything in their power to get reconnected with that child. In 2019, the National Inquiry into Missing and Murdered Indigenous Women and Girls called birth alerts racist and discriminatory, and yet the province is the only one in Canada where the practice is not under review. So when these children are taken away, they're more often than not placed in a um, culturally appropriate home. They're not more often than not um, uh, placed in, in white homes. They're not placed with uh, Indigenous people. As Indigenous people that have had our children taken away from residential school, that have had our children taken away for the 60s scoop, and now that it's sort of trickled down to youth protection, which a lot of people call the new residential school, um, it's, it's multi-layered the trauma in having your children taken away. And it's doing a fundamental disservice to that child in the long run is yeah, you can argue saying we're protecting them, but taking them away or, or not trying to fix the family challenge that got them in the first place is is uh, is not a solution. The government of Quebec really needs to put services in place to help Indigenous women uh, increase parental capacity, deal with addictions, deal with mental health issues, um, because until that's done, um, there's always going to be an excuse to remove an Indigenous baby from, from his or her mother. In Montreal, Felicia Adam, City News.